A lot of us, as we get older, start having concerns if we're getting dementia, if we can't find our keys or we go to the pantry and we can't remember what we were looking for. Well, it's normal as you get older to have some short memory lapses like that, you know, nothing major. But how do you know the difference? Here is something that I found that's interesting. Let's start here, a simple game to help you figure out if it could be something serious or if it's just a normal, natural part of aging. Let's suppose you can't find your keys. You first ask yourself, were you juggling lots of tasks or dealing with a long to-do list when you last remember having your keys? Now, if you say yes, it's probably just a blip and could just be due to being overly taxed that day. If you say no, then you gotta ask yourself, in general, are you under a lot of stress? If you say no, nope, not under a lot of stress, okay, well, did you get enough sleep last night? Sometimes your memory can be impaired with a little bit of sleep deprivation. So you say, yes, I got enough sleep, at least seven hours. Do you snore? Snoring can be an example or a sign of sleep apnea, and that could also cause sleep disruption. So if you say, nope, I don't snore, I wasn't overly taxed, I sleep well, uh, I'm not overly stressed in life, well, would you say you're lonely? You say, nope, I got people around me, I'm not lonely. Do you have symptoms of anxiety, restlessness, irritability, worry? or maybe depression, which would be seen by persistent sadness, feeling hopeless or worthless, any fatigue, that sort of thing. If you say, no, I don't have any of that, well, did you recently start a new medication? Nope, didn't start a new medication, not overly taxed, uh, not anxious, not depressed, none of that stuff. Well, are you having other cognitive glitches, such as not being able to find the right word, or having what you consider senior moments? If you say yes, and it can't be explained by any of those other things, it could be a warning sign and you might want to get it checked out. So then what if you say, no, you're not having other cognitive glitches? Then you'd ask yourself, well, have you noticed that everyday tasks like checking emails, managing your finances, running errands are taking longer to complete or feel more difficult? If you say yes to that again, that is a warning sign. If you say, no, I'm not having any of that either. Well, there's still a chance that it could be something serious. Here we go. Have friends or family said that you keep repeating questions, tell the same stories over and over, or have shown some personality changes of late? If you say yes to that, well, you need to go to a doctor ASAP. That is not really something that would normally be expected if it can't be explained by any of those other things. If you say no, here's another sign of it could be a problem. Can you recall relevant details of a recent major event you experienced? Like say, who was there, what you did, what you ate, with whom you spoke. If you say, uh, no, I can't recall things like that. Again, that is not normal. You want to go to a doctor ASAP. If you say, yeah, that's fine. I can remember that kind of stuff. Well, have you been having balance issues? Balance issues are a warning sign. So you wanna to go to see your doctor ASAP. Let's sum this up. There are basically five different things that could explain this. One, it's probably just a blip. If it can't be explained by being overly taxed or stressed or having emotional difficulties, then you're normal and just expect a little of this in your life. If it's unhealthy routines, basically we're talking about sleep here, then you wanna work on that. Sleep can very much impact your memory. If it is something unrelated, basically we're talking about sleep disorders, anxiety, depression, maybe starting a new medication, that can also cause some of these memory or little cognitive glitches and you'll want to get that checked out and address it. Could be a warning sign that you want to also get addressed and take care of. And if it's something very obvious, like you're forgetting things that just happened to you, you're repeating yourself, you're asking questions of things that were just answered, having uh, balance issues, personality change, things like that, then you do want to see a doctor ASAP. I do hope that was helpful. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, psychology works.